YouTube, welcome back to the channel, man. We on Fierce to Fathom Woodbury Getaway. We had to hop right on it, so let's get into it. Okay. Needed coffee to get done with the day. Yep. Oh, nah. Yeah, man, I, I mean, all right, I'm already hyped. I've, I've missed Fierce of Fathom, bro. The, the, the ambiance, just the settings, the detail. Look at this. Always, always get me ready to get scared. I am not gonna lie to you. Coffee. Do I have to put water in? Is that what that is? Need an empty cup to put water. All right. It's a lot of detail going into this, man. A lot of, a lot of steps. I love the immersion, though. I'm kind of, I'm already scared. Hey, you know what I mean? I guess we sounds like I'm a woman <clears throat> needed to use the restroom that's good to know because I don't want to walk into the the mail bathroom oh no it's a unisex anyway trifling in here. They broke all the mirrors. Why do I have my coffee still? They got a meter for it now. Why everybody piss so much? Hello? Hey, that sounds- like OH MY GOD! I'm so sorry, ma'am. I didn't know you were in here. It's alright, it's cool. You know what I'm saying? You the janitor, you supposed to be- I like to clean late because it's pretty quiet at this hour. Yeah, sure. You working late again, huh? Yeah, uh. You young folks sure do put in the hours. Hate? Oh, make make sure. <laughs> Man, it's the font. It's the font. Relax. Make sure to take care of yourself. You too. <laughs> All right, now that we've used the restroom, they say we still got our coffee. And, um, somebody else here late? Oh, what up? What do you want, Sid? I'm trying to get this done. My bad? Damn! I was checking if you need... It's hard to bother you, my bad. I just wanted to see if it was other people really working late or I wasn't tripping. Let me get back to my desk, dude. Hello? Hey, Orp, it's Mike. <clears throat> hey, Mike. I've been trying to call yourself for the last two hours. It just keeps going to voicemail. Is everything all right? Uh, my battery dies oh, at the worst time. Oh, I was starting to think maybe you were ignoring me. <laughs> uh, I'm oh, just kidding. <laughs> um. All right, Mike. Uh, anyway, uh, what are you still doing at work? It's getting kind of late. Damn, Art, that sounds rough. Yeah. Good thing I called to cheer you up. Um, about our trip, did you get a chance to book the rental house? Just really wanted to see you. And Nora. Uh, no worries, Harper. Work. I don't want to stress you out. As long as you book it tonight, I think it'll be fine. Right, hey. Bro. I was thinking, since we both live in the city, maybe I could pick you up and ride together. It'd be nice to catch up. Nah, you know, good, save on good, gas good, and relive good. the good old days. Just a little bit of Mike and Sydney time before Nora gets there. Nah, he's on weird shirt. Right. Uh, I guess I'll I'm giving him dry responses. Oh, uh, wait, you one more thing. 
when you book the rental, please make sure to keep it under a hundred dollars a night. Nora and I were talking. Bro, and guys. On a pretty tight budget. My bad. Things have. All right, bro. Anyway, type invader. We'll see. What's that? Oh, I don't know how to type, y'all. Oh, yo, if I type it, but look. I type like a third grader who don't know how to type. That's bullshit. We just. <laughs> this is intense. Oh, I'm in trouble. Intensity. They understand there's work to be. Hey, where's you from, huh? All right, rentacabin.com. Where you going? Uh, Woodbury. Uh, <laughs> if you type in anything, it just types it in my. <laughs> I do not type that fast. Y'all saw what it was. All right, he said under a hundred a night, so he can't get him. In... This mother for two. This look like a GTA. The GTA San Andreas area. Okay, not bad. I right, see this 99. Private cabin. Look, is this is this the only one? Oh, this sussy. This sussy. I should never say that again. All right, it don't look terrible. It looks spooky as shit on the inside though. I'm not gonna lie to you. Three guests, two bedroom, two beds. See, this is weird, right? Why is it three guests but two bedroom, two beds? So you assume it is gonna be a couple in, you know, a third wheel or something. Mike Mike set this up, bro. Print it. Hey, I'm assuming you get to hundreds, if not thousands of stories sent daily. So I'll give you a basic rundown of something that happened to me. I'm sorry if some of it is written weird, but I was rushed. <clears throat> when I was in my early twenties, I worked at a big consulting firm in my city. Life at the firm was a constant juggle of deadlines, client meetings, and trying to prove my worth, which didn't leave much room for leisure, let alone a social life. The job paid well, sure, but at the expense of my mental peace. I'm Sidney Harper, and this story takes place during one of those days. One of my college friends, Mike, suggested that we take a weekend getaway to rural Vermont. Which sounded like a perfect break from the cycle of work, and my other friend, Nora, was quick to jump on board as well. The plan was simple. We went to small cabin, close our shift early on Friday, leave, and be back on Monday. Mike came to pick me up. I wouldn't, I ain't gonna lie, I would not have got Mike to pick me up, but that's just me. He a little, he a little weird, he a little awkward. Is this Mike? Yeah, nah, Mike, I'm not. <laughs> you are that weird stuff. I've seen you around, but I haven't had a chance to introduce myself. I'm Gail. I'm Sydney. Nice to meet you. You're on the 10th floor, right? I'm on 8th. How do you know? I've just seen you a few times getting off at the 10th floor when I'm home late for work. Who do you do for work? Me? I'm a software engineer. What about you? Oh, I see. I, I didn't want to, I didn't want to answer him because I don't want him to know too much about me because he could be the creep. Well, I know Mike could just been like the bait and switch. He'll sell some M. Night Shyamalan. I hope you have a great rest of your day. I need to get some groceries before the snow starts. You too. All right. So this Mike, look at his stance. What's good, Mike? All right. Hug. Okay. What it do, bro? That's still how you hug people. Why don't you hug me like you missed me? You look good. Hey, hey Mike, what we got going on, bruh? Wouldn't have it any other way. It'll be nice to have company on the way. This old truck brings back so many memories, right? This bad boy has been through a lot, you know? You could just throw your stuff in the back and move me on our way. I ain't got nothing on me, do I? What bag? What 
bag. Did I leave it in the elevator? All right, now, Harp, right, are you ready to hit the road? Yeah. Damn. Fix your, your posture. It was starting to snow. Like, the, can you put your seat up or something? Or is it broke or something? Your spine look like it's hurting me. What's good with you? Look at the road. Harp, isn't it weird? We used to dream about escaping our college, and now we are here. Trying to escape from life we wanted to live. We couldn't wait to get into the real world. Funny how that works. Change is just hard. Like trying to adjust to the new job. Speaking of jobs, how's it going so far? We're working on this project that uses machines learning to predict. All right, so my game just froze. Okay, uh, we're working on this project that uses machine learning to predict market trends. It's pretty cutting edge stuff. Sound like you're shaping the future. Not quite Tony Stark yet, but I'll take it. Rick Wilson. Oh, that's the guy from the B&B. Uh, &B. uh, you know, I never understood what do consultants even do. I'm not sure. Uh, just explain. That sounds like important work. Yep. He don't understand it. I didn't know what they did either, to be honest with you. How far is it now? Should be about an hour and a half from here. Damn! 514. I'm assuming we're here. We'll pull up to the BP. Need some gas, huh? Go hard, check that out. Check what out. Old's Pizza? Is that is that the old spot? We used to go here a lot, bro. I don't I don't really know. You know, Harp? I gotta tell you, these new GPS systems are something else. This pizzeria is exactly where it appeared on my GPS. It's like living in the future. I'm so hungry, I think I could eat a whole pizza myself. Me too. All right there, Harp. Operation Pizza Pit Stop is a... Is a authentic Italian pizza. Is it locked? Thanks. Well, this just in. Reports of a strong snowstorm coming Damn, sir. Residents are recommended to stay in the That pizza is not running away from you. It might be how you chopping on that shit. He's a wide dude. Even if folks looks like even if folks looks like the cold got everyone craving pizza tonight. Is yes, there you find folks know what you want to eat? We'll get three slices each. I'll go with pepperoni, cheese, and veggies. Uh, we go get the most special, the pep. Who the fuck? Uh -huh. You clear your throat so well, bitch ass dude. You can wait, and we go get a cheese. Your order number is 27. Just grab a seat, and we'll call you up when your pizza is ready. <clears throat> Brother, I don't know what you. My bad. He kinda he kinda look like Ryan Sheckler a little bit, don't he? Whoa! Long sniff. Is you smelling the pizza? Look at him. He getting ready to get the fuck out of here. It's cold as a bitch, huh? He had to stretch. Oh. No, nah, he must have just boo-boo. He prepared to eat pizza. Oh. Friends three ever, nor Kim. Uh oh. Oh, you guys are going to hate me. I swear, I'll get on the road as soon as I can. But something last minute popped up. I'm not going to bore you with all of the details. The long and short of it is one of my clients needs a last minute change. Their payments are about the only thing keeping the lights on. I hate to leave so late, but i got to keep them happy. I'll have this logo done before you know it and be on my way. Ooh. Yeah, Nora's not coming, bro. Did you listen to Nora's voice messages in the group? Looks like she'll be late. What a bummer. I guess we'll have to start the fun without her. No. I'm not saying what kill we do. He gonna be on some freak stuff. Uh, 
Let me get that player. Oh shit. Okay, oh. Alright, you folks all set. Thank you! Damn, they. Oh damn. This pizza slaps. <laughs> Can't believe Nora is missing out on this bomb ass pizza. Hey, fuck, you know what I'm saying? Let's get the pet. I hate the noise you be using. Right, Rail, Rail. That noise you be using, trifle, brother. I'm not gonna lie to you. Get that crust too. Damn, Harp, you actually eat the crust? Yeah! What you talking about? It's kinda wasteful not to, don't you think? I'd eat a tire if I was hungry to fuck. Harp? I guess, but wouldn't you really eat the peel of an orange, would you? I, what the fuck that got to do with- Hey, yo! Not to be a bother or anything, but I was heading down the road myself. Seems like we might be going the same direction. Y'all mind if I hit your ride with you? Uh, where are you headed? Just heading where the road takes me. I'm a bit of an adventurer just hiking the trails and seeing the country. So what do y'all say? Care to give a free spirit? A ride down a snowy road? Sure, you can come with us. I'm not sure, I'm sorry. Uh, surely you can find just a little bit of room for me. I can. <coughs> surely you can find just a little bit of room for me. I can ride in the middle of hell. I'll ride in the bed. That's what I'm saying. Like, why are you asking me? It's my friend's car. You gotta be shitting me, lady. No space. I know there's a middle of the seat. You scared of me or something? Yo, what the fuck? Yeah, I'm definitely not. I'm definitely not uh, talking to you. You ain't too kind, are you? Unkind people will meet me unkind as themselves. You best be careful out there. Nigga, I just said, hey, I don't know. This is my friend's car. This nigga right here. And your bitch ass ain't say nothing. Mike. Are you threatening that? Mike, you a bitch. No, no, no. Y'all got me wrong. Sorry, I'm just cold and tired is all. Bitch ass. I got to finish my bitch. You, you soft. You soft. I don't want to talk to you. I'll be by pizza. You saw. Uh. Oh, that pizza was the perfect fuel for the light. Oh. Uh. Damn. Okay. Yeah. Get up. <laughs> she said. <"Ey." laughs> oh. Bro. Ryan Sheckler, I'm gonna need you to get get back a little bit, okay? All right, then. Are you ready to hit the road? Maybe we can beat the worst of the snow. Are we close? Let's see if my GPS is right. It should be. Oh, so I have to drive. <clears throat> All right, the weather is. <sighs> get back! <laughs> I think we getting close. I'm seeing, I'm seeing more houses and, and, and the music starting to pick up. The ambient music, not that, not, not whatever is on the radio. Oh, Woodbury. Oh. I drove past the archive and had fires. Oh. How was I supposed to know? Is this it right here? Oh no, that's it. Can I grab my shit? I think. I think the address is 241 Woodbury Boulevard. Duh! So I had to just park it correctly, bro. Bro, don't do this. I don't even know how to drive. It was a quaint little house in a quiet neighborhood. Oh, thank you. Oh, no, that's his shit. It's crazy. He grabbed a cooler. You ain't got no clothes in there? I hope you got clothes in there. Shit, stinky butt. All right. It 
it was like, what's it, what's it? 5176. Who the fuck? Whoever that is can wait. Anyway, because because my thing is my thing is they wouldn't have let me get out the car if I couldn't be right there. So his ass could drive around. Could it could be a glitch, could be some foreshadow. A few moments later. Alright. Groceries are put away. Uh that was not much of anything, to be honest with you. Ooh, oh shit, we can keep oh, hi. Ooh, sorry about that, heart. Man, you had the boo-boo? Are you okay? Long drive and all that pizza really did a number on me, no worries. Well, all that groceries are put away. Thanks for handling that, Harp. Anyways, this place looks crazy nice. It's got that rustic charm you just don't see anymore. It's cute. For sure. Uh, hey, I really need to pee. I'll be back. I'm going to go ahead and start unpack your bags. Why you got to unpack my bags? Is this the bathroom? Ooh-wee! Taken, but some Malone told me Pizza Hat really did a number on Mike. Hi, we've checked in. Oh. Almost, almost. You almost got me. You almost got me. Oh. What'd it do? You couldn't wait for me to like be out of the bathroom completely though. You feel it better after the drive, much better now. I'm good, wanna check out the house. Sounds good to me. Let's see what this place has to offer after you let go. Oh shit, come on. What's this? The closet. Okay. That's good to know. Keep that there. You know where the flashlight is. Bro! Get the fuck off my ass, man! Oh my god! Who the fuck is this? Oh, hey, you're here. Who are you? Welcome to my home, sweet home, huh? What a lovely young couple. No, 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 we're not a couple. You no, know we're not a couple, folks. You didn't have to sell it that on heart. Anyway. Oopsie daisy, silly me. We didn't expect anyone to be here. Oh, um, I was out looking for my cat earlier and I remembered the TV's been on the fritz here. Just thought I'd stop by and try to get it working again since the last few folks left a bad word for it. You know, they say treat your guests like family. My family doesn't go out without TV. My bad. <clears throat> stop looking at me. My now that your folks are here, let me show you around my sweet home. Right now? I'd be a bad owner if I didn't. All right, whatever. Shit weird. Yo ass didn't say anything. How, where'd you go to put away my bag then? Where's my bag? Here's your shower. That thing can make you feel like you're bathed under a waterfall in the Amazon jungle. Oh, uh, this thing doesn't work, unfortunately. Not to worry. I'll get it fixed for you real soon. Let me show you the other bedroom now. You know what I'm saying? Look, Harp, this room has a nice ass view. You think that's nice, mister? Wait till I show you the deck. Follow me now, please. Alright, I'm after you, bruh. Hey, this nice. That's nice. Why are you look, looking like that over there? Holy smokes, this is incredible. Uh, definitely. I'm glad your folks like it. This is one of my favorite spots. The view of the creek is beautiful. It's a great spot for fishing, too. All right, folks, let's head back in before I catch a cold here again.
Yeah, I don't trust this guy. He up here got this weak ass fit on. And he kind of look like uh, he looked like Hank Hill, Dad. We've been taking a tour of the house. He's just showing us every room. Um, alrighty, folks. I see you already stocked up the fridge with some tasty food. Yeah, you see the knob. Turn the knob for more cooling and down. No shit. See, and this is why I didn't show the rest because he's just talking. Speaking of winter, I better show you folks the water heater. Oh my god, the water heater! Bro, it, like, why we gotta make sure this shit is like, you know what I'm saying? This shit should be fixed already. Standard. It, I can't get y'all. Oh, hold on! Y'all walking through the, the doors and shit. Like, hold on, I ain't with the freaky shit. And he, look at him. You know, freak shit too. Move! Creepy ass little dude. Little arms. Uh, nothing to worry about down here. Just a white heater and some old storage stuff. Then why the fuck are we down here? If it ever stops working, just hit the button at the bottom. The pilot light will fire right up and you'll be back in bee's knees. Look. Why why am I even worried about this old are you coming, miss? Bro, I can't I can't look. Y'all some creepy ass dudes, bro. Where are we going now? Hey sir, what's the deal with that room over there? Nothing you two need to concern yourselves with. I kind of use the basement as storage renters don't need the space. They really ought to keep upstairs. Okay, well, I was just curious. Let's move on. Siri, nobody talking to you, bruh. Can we leave? Freak, man. Did I mention? Well, no, maybe I ought to keep it to myself. The fella I bought this house from well told me his mother died down here. Some guests have reported hearing voices at night. Said they could hear shuffling around. He got somebody down here in that room. Let's continue. Not to scare you folks, but if I was if I were you, I wouldn't really step down here. Yeah, he got somebody down here. <laughs> I see. I already don't trust him. What I tell y'all last time? Don't no grown ass man say he 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 he, he unless he up to no good, y'all. Unless he up to no good. Come on, now, I'm just joking. Yeah, whatever. At this point, my creep meter was quietly pinging at around six out of ten. Six out of ten is crazy. Alright folks, snow starting to pick up. I'm gonna hit the road now. I gotta find that damn cat. Thanks for showing us around. No, it ain't no thanks. It was some creepy shit he was showing us. By the way, what was the name of the booking? I must be getting old. Oh, it's Sydney. Hi, ah, Sydney, that's right. Pretty name for a pretty girl. I don't feel like that was the nigga, bro. Is it just me or is it is that dude super weird? Very weird, bruh. Anyways, let's go see if there's anything good on TV. Actually, I'm gonna take a quick shower. Cool, I'll find something to watch while you're in there. Chuckle, let me know if it feels like you're under a waterfall. Think it's funny? You think it's funny? Hey. I, I doubt they gonna make me grab clothes too, so we're just gonna. You see what I mean? We did not walk in this bitch butt naked. Cause that would mean <laughs> we was butt naked the whole time. And that's probably why they was looking at me on, on that freak shit. You saw how Mike was looking up on them steps? All right, we're gonna go back down here. Oh, hey Harp, check this out. I found this fishing rod in the shed. Plan on catching dinner? Now that you mention it, that will be a pretty epic addition to the trip. I don't know, it's caught out there. Come on Harp. What will make this trip more epic than catch your own freaking dinner? I guess it could be fun. Hell yeah, follow me. There's another ride in the shed so we can both give it a shot. Exit. Are we finna go ice fishing in the back? Hey, yeah. Do you wanna grab the other fishing ride, Harm? Yeah, just give me a second. Oh snap, I saw a killer recipe for a baked carp. We'll need to catch three carp though. You up for a challenge? First things first, we need the right bait for carp. Check out this bait information board. Whenever you're ready. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So what kind of bait we need for carp? Mm -hmm. 
Common carp, cheese delight. So we got the cheese delight on the hook, you know what I'm saying, for the carp. Should I have brought the bait with me? Hey, yeah. Hey. I hope these carp are biting today. Yeah. I don't, ooh, that was hard, whoa. Oh, don't worry, Harp, the fish are just playing hard to get today, kinda like someone else I know. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, man, I really do gotta get up and, yeah, let me go bring it. All right, we gotta, we gotta be prepared for that hit. I was not prepared. Yeah, that's one. They say whenever there's one carp, there's always more. So we just gonna throw it over here again. Hey, that's two. Hey, I need some help, Mike. Woohoo, just one more carp left. You got this. I got this. You suck, Mike. cleaning the fish do you mind preparing the marinade sure just take a bowl and throw in ginger paste cooking oil black pepper salt italian seasoning paprika yogurt Him up. Not. Mm, and I'm put it out. Do you mind throwing the fish in the marinade in the casserole while I chop the veggies? So it's a casserole? Ugh. Oh, I guess. I guess I didn't need a measuring cup. Just throw the whole bowl in. Now could you add the veggies? Got you. I read it's supposed to go in 430. <laughs> I swear I don't have dyslexia, bruh. So 400 degrees, 30 minutes. Those carp are going to taste amazing. While we wait for it to cook, how about we play some board games? I saw some in the room next to the living room. All right, uh, which one? Just grab whatever catches your eye. Can't wait to see what you pick. I saw some in the living room next to the living room. How did he see these? He clearly looked around. Oh, no. Yo. I found one. Oh snap, is that a Ouija board? Absolutely. Molly was told me how she contacted her dad, grandma through one of those boards. That's kind of... I can't stand her spiritual bullshit. Damn! Remember how the dude was acting weird about the basement? What if we tried this down there? Alright, let's go. He didn't take that as, you ain't scared? What you do, scared? I would have took it as that. I would, and I wouldn't have gave a fuck, because yes, I am. Look, I watch out for spiders. That all right? Relax, relax. That little ass table. All right, where are we going? Hold on. You want to do it by the, the creepy door? Oh, right here. 
You know what will make this even spookier? Turn out the lights. Can turn this off. I hope you're ready. Hope you're all ready. Anyways, do you know how this works, Harper? Yes. I think. <clears throat> all right, then you go first. Are there any spirits who want to talk to us? No way are you moving it. That wasn't me. How was it me? How how would you ask me am I moving it? And you holding it, Mike. Okay, I got one too. Go ahead. How's the afterlife treating you, buddy? Hey, be respectful. What's your name? Yeah, I'm I'm kinda moving it. I'm I'ma just let them do what they go do. Cause you can kinda move it, but um I don't wanna I don't wanna force anything. Come on buddy, gives us give us a sign, let us know you're here. Nah, Mike, right, Mike, you ain't shit, Mike, Mike. It was probably that cat, actually. Now that I think about it, probably ain't shit, but that cat, you a bitch. Mike, you a bitch. There's some freaky shit going on down there, Harp. That was weird. The weird part is that you ditched me, weirdo. What the hell, Harp? I figured you would move your ass, too. And you want to date her? Talking to her like that? I don't know if we could really... <sighs> Would have been nice if you had checked. Have you ever heard of fight or flight? Fuck you. They're gonna say sorry. Sorry to use that, nigga. I get the food. Oh. oh, no gloves, Mike? No gloves, you freaky monster? I think I think our show is about to come on. You want to watch TV short? We can eat and watch TV, but you you ain't gonna tell me how you just and you and make none for Nora. We gotta share that one. Rivers like a mayonnaise water park. So first we are going ah, this to prepare Lizzy again. Asparagus. Season these with. A lot of salt. Salt is good for the bones. After letting these simmer in the salt bath, we can start making the chocolate. And take a couple cocoa beans. Ah, uh, yes, the cocoa beans need to be blended into the sauce with a little bit of vinegar. Yeah, you Gotta keep that fancy flavor. Fancy. This is going to oh, okay. Taste like so yeah, I get my own, but that means he didn't make Nora any. Anyway, listening to my cooking instructions. This is the brain of the mayonnaise. We we gotta inject it with a little anesthesia to make sure it doesn't revolt against us. What? It, it gets very angry once it knows we're trying the to mayo? cook it. After doing that, we mix all the ingredients together in a tray and place it inside the oven. That should look dubious okay. as hell. While that's cooking, we can start on the appetizer. Gasoline-soaked ramen. Now, this dish is extremely hard to make. A dish only for experienced cooks. It requires a lot of patience and <laughs> skill. What you will need is gasoline mm -hmm. and ramen. Oh, if your oven catches on fire, make sure to put it out with the fire extinguisher. Well, 
damn. Uh, uh, damn, that's burnt. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I'm not eating this. But, but, but not to worry. I know someone who will. Huh? Yo, bro! Yo, I made you move! <laughs> yeah, that's why I eat <laughs> I'm assuming this is his room, because he said I had a nice view. It's silent. Oh my god! Gotcha. What the hell, Mike? You're lucky I didn't break your nose. My good looks are half my charm, Harp. Don't mess them up. I totally got you. That was fun, wasn't it? Uh, it's not cool, bro. Come on, it was just a joke. After we had that creepy shit, then you ran off on me in the basement? No. Next round. Man, hide and seek. I gotta hide from him? I decided to hide in the basement? Yo, what? I won't even be in this house no more, dude. And she talking base mom. Dave's dealership because we're the best. Dogs purchased from our dealership are certified pure bread and butter inbreed diamond grade hounds. Note: not all dogs are tested for influenza and may or may not carry multiple military grade weaponry. But not to worry, they're dirt cheap as well. So come on down to Larry's Auto Insurance Animal Rescue Dealership today and get yourself the deal of a lifetime. Um, are, were they selling dogs or military vehicles? I don't, I don't really know. Oh, that shit's so creepy. I didn't even realize. No access to guests? Nigga, he obviously on that creep. Oh, I decided to, oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Decided to look in the stairs. How? How? How'd you know? That wasn't even a challenge. I figured you would be good at this since I never find you in the city. Damn, freaky. Bro, stop with the creepy shit. All right, my turn to hide now. You better close your eyes and start counting. Thanks. All right. One, two, three. Oh. All right, he went upstairs. One, Mississippi. Two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready or not, here I come. Okay. I just want to make sure he didn't trick me. Alright, <clears throat> be prepared for another jump scare. It's not in here. He gotta be in the house, man. He better not have had left. He's not gonna hide in the same room, right? Got him. Gotcha. Hang on, Harp. I think I heard something upstairs. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice. No kidding, Sydney. I really heard something sliding up there. You didn't hear it? No, I did not. I saw in my life I heard something. I see this. Attic access door in here. Steps door. Why'd you close the door, bitch? Oh, it's right here. 
He closed the door again, bro. Stop. Oh, nah. It's the fucking cat. Okay. How you doing, sir? It's just the cat, bro. Sydney, are you okay? What was up there? It was just the cat. Oh, that's a relief. I was worried there for a minute. I think she was hungry. Oh, yeah. Maybe we can give her one of the carp after I come find you again. We gotta play this shit some more. Decided to hide for. Oh, you're cheating! You're cheating! I was just against this. Fuck it, I'm gonna do it. Bro. I'm gonna... <laughs> Straight to the pool shit. I would have went straight to the pool shit. You went to see if I'm look if I'm hiding outside while it's still cold as a bitch. <laughs> the, the point is funny as a bitch. Damn, Harp, it took me a while to figure out you left the house. Anything worth doing is worth doing well. My turn. Close those pretty eyes now. I'm getting tired, bro. Look out, hide in the house. We're headed back in there. Anyway, you find me, we'll go to bed. Bro, let's get... So we still checking this. Okay, let's go upstairs. No, that has to be upstairs. Right? Tripping? He could be in the attic. Kind of throw me off with the my shoulders too broad. Boy, and she screamed. Look at Mike. Mike, you're not gonna do anything. What's going on? What happened? Well, hey there. Why the hell are you here again? Rick, why are you back? What are you doing with that hammer? I'm fixing the faucet. You got a problem with that? Huh. I've never seen anyone fix a faucet with the hammer before. You ever fixed a mini faucet yourself, young man? Didn't think so. So I'd imagine you know. You don't know what tools you need. How long have we been here? Just got here a couple minutes ago. If you're anything before that, it must have been that old lady, remember? Look, we need to go to bed now. Do you think you have to? You can fix it tomorrow? You asked me to leave, miss? Uh, no, Rick, she's being polite. We rented this house and would like it to have it ourselves. I, we don't really want to call, have to call law enforcement. Ain't no cops in Woodbury, son. You think they're gonna arrest the homeowner for fixing the faucet? I was just doing some work. If you can't handle that, it's your problem, not mine. You know what? If you folks don't like me fixing the faucet, I'll leave you to it. Why the fuck did he have a hammer? After locking the door, we debated what to do. We agreed that there was something off about Rick from the start. Seemed like he enjoyed making excuses to come over unannounced. In the end, we decided Rick was weird, but probably harmless. We attributed his behavior to an extreme lack of social awareness. Look, we already drove all the way out here. Let's just enjoy ourselves, Mike said. But by this time, I was feeling really tired. I decided to get some rest. Oh, God, she popped right up. I'm not for the games. But you're not getting on my shit. Heart. Are you still awake? Because you just knocked on the door. Do you mind if I come in? I like to talk about something. Sure. Stay back this way. 
Why are you looking out the window? Do I gotta be close? The storm is starting to get really bad. I can hardly see the truck in the driveway. I hope Nora's okay. She will be just fine. Sydney, don't worry. I'm here to keep you safe. Okay. Hey, it's no problem at all. Guys are supposed to watch over the people they care about, right? What are you talking about? What a day, huh? This wasn't exactly how I thought I'd get away was going to go. It's been a strange day. You like a stranger. Can you believe that guy? He just keeps wandering around the house like he owns the place. Well, he does. Uh, you know exactly what I meant, Sydney. He shouldn't. Just barge in the place whenever he wants. We rented the damn house. Yes, I agree, but you being weirder. I mean, the guy is probably harmless, but I'm frustrated at me too. I really need to sleep now, Mike. Bro, why don't you come sit by me, Sydney? Why are you on that weird shit, dude? Oh, Lord Jesus. All right, you know, I've missed this. I was just talking, it's been too long. You know, you don't have to sleep alone tonight if you don't want to. Mike, where is this coming from, bro? And let it out, bro. You act like you don't remember our trip to Oregon. I remember it being pretty awkward. It didn't start out awkward though. Mike, we had a lot to drink things happen. They sure did. I'm hoping maybe they can happen again. All right, good job. Yeah, look at the phone. You just let me worry about the details, Sydney. I don't think this is a good time. Anyway. Guys, I think I'm about 70 miles away from Woodbury and my stinking tire just blew out. You just teleported. It's snowing and I'm on the side of the road on Highway 11 near Killington. There's a sign by the side of the road. It's hard to see. I, I think it says Kent Pond. The snow is like half of a deep and I can't get the lug nuts off the tire. <laughs> I hate to ask. Can you two come get me? Yeah, we gotta go get Nora. You up here on this freak shit. What a time, uh huh? But I guess we can't leave Nora stranded. Let me get dressed and I'll meet you downstairs. No, Sydney, you stay here and get some sleep. There's no sense in both of us freezing our asses off. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. You're in pajamas and I'm still dressed. You just settle in and I'll go help Nora. I always like doing nice things for you, Sydney. All right, bro. Be, be careful, nigga. But you was not getting none, bro. We'll finish talking about this later. Okay, get some rest and stay warm. I really feel like we have to. Couldn't have gone to bed without locking the front door. He could lock it behind himself. What is right? Y'all know y'all could lock that. Oh. Hey, why don't you get some rest while I'm gone? Yeah, I'll crash for a bit. Look, make sure. Okay, hug him, bro, and get and let me go. Jeez, why is the vehicle right there? All right, we sleep. Now we gonna try to sleep. I'm already knowing they gonna be on some freak nasty stuff. My guess is either gonna be Rick. It's gonna be dude from your your apartment building, or it's gonna be Mike. That's just, those are my three guesses. It could be a fourth unknown. It could be whoever in that basement. I told myself things would get better if I could just get some rest. Nora always knew how to cheer me up and I needed it more by the minute. With her arriving soon, I decided to rest in the meantime. Man. Whoa, 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 whoa. I hate when... See, yeah, like, don't rush me, dude. Someone was at the front door. Hello? I saw you there, my friend. Please open the door. It could be the, the hitchhiker, dude. Exit. I'm not opening shit. I can't see who it is. You up here saying open the door, friend. It's, it's definitely that crazy ass nigga from the... Hello? Look, friend, I know it ain't the idea of banging on the middle, on your door in the middle of the night, but I'm in a bad spot here. 
I was counting on a ride from some friends, but they are running behind and won't be here for about two more hours. Uh, you can sit on the porch? Well, thanks, but I was hoping you let me wait inside until my friends get here. You're not coming in the story. Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, it's definitely dude. It's definitely dude. You're gonna let me freeze out to death out here? I didn't make you go hiking in a snowstorm. I should have known you'd be a big ass, a big, a bitch here as you were. I knew it was him. What? You think I didn't see you and your little boyfriend fishing in the creek earlier? I figured maybe you'd give me a chance this time, but it still looks like you're still unkind. Get out or I'll call the cops. Ain't no cops around here. Speaking of, speaking of, I don't see your fella's truck out here either. I'm dialing 911 now. Fine. Suit yourself. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He on timing. I see his hand. But let me tell you something. You'll get what's coming to you for leaving me out here. Karma's a bitch, my friend. Fuck you! The man at the door seemed irrelevant compared to how tired I was. No, what? I can't keep my eyes open. I have to get some sleep. Yo, y'all, y'all, danger sense suck. Look at this. choice but to call for help I'm assuming somebody threw the snowball text Rick Rick I'm sorry to bother you again but can you come back over there's someone we may drive it iron he was banging on the door and started threatening me I'm pretty scary and I think I heard him moving around on the side could you please come look inside since you look so close Man, Rick is not coming. He's probably who just got knocked the fuck out. He's probably already here. It's me. Oof. What the hell is going on here? Oh, thank God you're here. Explain the situation. Ooh, ba beep, ba beep. Ba beep, beep. Yeah, I came as quickly as I could. Beep, ba beep, beep, beep. I wouldn't worry about him anymore. Beep, 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 beep. What you mean, Rick? What you mean, Rick? What you mean, Rick? Rick. Okay, <laughs> yo, <laughs> you get back, but Rick. by the way, where is your friend? The guy who was with you earlier, Mikey, went to put a couple of the fan. Hmm, so you're all alone here right now, huh? Yeah, but they'll be back soon. Hurry, was that living room or bathroom? Something like this bring out all kinds of folk. Not all of them know when to stay away. So is he going to stay here with me?
we go back upstairs, y'all. Everything okay, miss? Yeah. Awful late for texting, isn't it? Who you talking to? It's my friends are almost here. Is that so? Yeah, thanks for coming by, though. I'll be fine now. You can't back if you want. You sure about that? Yeah, I just overreacted. Maybe I should stick around, make sure everything's really okay. Why am I confronting him? This is my fucking house. I will leave when I want to. You need to leave right now. Get out of here. Fuck up. I want what's mine. This house. And you. You're trespassing. You need to leave right now. I don't think so. If anyone is leaving this house. It would be one of us. Go, go, go. We're gonna try to go to the attic. We in here. No sh Just got done talking to the other guests on the phone. I've called 911. Nice. I don't want to go down there yet. Did I make it?
I told them everything that happened after Mike had left. Rick had called the cops. The storm had quieted down by the time they arrived. And of course, the man was nowhere to be seen. On our drive back, the whole night played over and over in my head. We think that the man we saw secretly lived in the cabin when it wasn't being used and planned on robbing us during the, our stay. But cops seemed to think there was more intent behind this man's action aside from just robbing us. Rick asked me what the man looked like, and after that, he didn't ask any more questions. We think he knew more than he was letting on, but in the end, he gave us a full refund. I'll take that. I'll take that, man. Thank y'all for coming. Drop a like, comment. Let me know what y'all favorite part. Um, I'll let y'all in the next video. That's a W.